In question one, we are given a geometric sequence and the first question says calculate the value of the fifth term. So we just need the basic geometric formula. And so to find term five, we can just say term five is equal to a, which is the first term, which is 10. Now to work out the ratio, you can just take term two divided by term one, which is five over 10, which is a half. So that'll be a half to the power of n, which is five minus one on the calculator, which will give us 0, 0,625. So that's gonna be the fifth term in the sequence. Then for number 1.1.2, they say determine the nth term. So that you just use the formula again, but you don't fill in a number for n. So it'll just be a, which is 10, r is a half to the n minus one. And that's the answer for number 1.1.2 and then 1.1.3 explain why this series you see did you guys know that a sequence is whenever they have the semicolons and then to call it a series they just put pluses in between that's all now why does the infinite series exist well an infinite series exists when you have two scenarios we have to have both of these it has to be geometric so it is geometric and the ratio must be bigger than minus one, but it must be less than one. So this ratio, um, our ratio is equal to a half. So it is between minus one and one. So in the exam, you could say something like it is geometric and R is between minus one and one. 